Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammad بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم Obey Allah, obey Prophet, obey those who are on authority and make sure that make sure that your obedience is to listen to what Allah has said and to listen what Prophet Sallallahu has said. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Allah said وَلَا تَجَسَّسُوا وَلَا يَخْتَبْ بَعْضُكُمْ بَعْضًا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتمه أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اجتنبوا كثيرا من الظن إن بعض الظن إثم ولا تجسسوا ولا يغتب بعضكم بعضا أيحب أحدكم أن يأكل لحم أخيه ميتا فكرهتموه واتقوا الله إن الله تواب رحيم. الله سبحانه وتعالى said O oh believers don't have bad doubts and thoughts. Might be the one you are doubting and you have bad thoughts about is better than you hundreds of times. better than you hundreds of times. Allah knows best. And don't try to spy on people's what they are saying. And don't backbite. Don't backbite each other. It's, it's, not, it's not something that you say, oh, I ha- never mind if I backbite or I, I, I spy on my brothers and sisters or I make a conspiracy for a, a, a goal, for something that for your benefit, trying to make a conspiracy to look good, so making other people bad, to look bad. Unfortunately, in this, t- in this time, people, they are throwing their dirtiness on people who are clean. They, Al-Mu'minu Mir'ata Akhi, Mu'min is the mirror of his brother. If I'm going to speak about you, means it is my bad characters that reflected through you reflecting my bad characters and I am thinking that these bad characters are in you but in reality they are not in you they are in me so Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam al Masduq he is the the tr- trusted one when he say al mu'minu mir'ata akhi Mu'min is the mirror of his brother. Who can uh, define Mu'min? Allah. No one can define. So you, in, in your eyes, you might think that person is not Mu'min. But since he say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, he is Mu'min. But in your mind, because of your bad characteristic animalistic behavior that you want to be the bad, the good one in front of a group of people you begin to attack on other people because all your bad characters are reflected to you through the audience 
because they are mu'mins. Those who be sitting in an audience like this audience, they are mu'min. So when you begin to attack on their character, it's your character. It's your uh, bad manners that are reflected from you because you are a mirror. Uh, it's reflecting my bad characters and I am seeing you as if you are the one that you have these bad characters but in reality I am the one that have this bad character so begin to attack and when you attack you might if you are not right you might be punished if you are right you are right but if you are not right you will be punished you are in any case uh, Allah he is a satar even your opponent as mistake try to hide it and then, until Allah said in Holy Quran in Allah la yuhibbu Allah al jahra bis su'i illa man zulim الرحيم لا يحب الله الجهر بالسوء من القول إلا من ظلم وكان الله سميعا عليما. Allah doesn't like someone to begin to speak up and criticize through some words من القول but in a way that he begin to attack only. Only you can do that when you are oppressed. Are you oppressed? No. So why you are attacking? And the person cannot defend himself. When you attack, attack in face to face. Don't attack in the back. When you attack in the back, the person is not there to defend himself. If you are, mashallah, clever enough, you make an attack face to face. But we are not doing that. And those who are attacking, what we can say, may Allah forgive them. Anyone who comes against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in disobedience to this verse of Holy Quran, he will be punished. So be careful. You don't want that. يَوْمَ تُبَدَّلُ الْأَرْضِ غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ يوم تبدر الأرض غير الأرض والسماوات وبرزوا لله الواحد القهار وترى المجرمين يومئذ مقرنين في الأصفاد يوم تبدر الأرض غير الأرض means in English when the earth is being changed by another earth يَوْمَ تُبَدَّلُ الْأَرْضِ غَيْرَ الْأَرْضِ this the earth now Allah say when the earth is being changed to another one means it's not the same Because Allah, for day of resurrection, He calls people to come out. Is that? And Allah descend His arsh, huh? Where? Huh? Descend on earth. Allah descend on a filthy, dirty earth. That earth will be a heavenly earth. Not a 
earth that we know is a clean one not one sin Allah doesn't like to see badness from people the, the, the Allah always like to see goodness Allah doesn't look at something dirty Munafin li lil asma wa sifat cannot it cannot be accepted that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with his beautiful names and attributes looking at something that not appropriate as the creator of heavens and earth so bad Allah doesn't look look at goodness that's why when Kabil uh, killed Habil Allah showed he didn't know what to do Allah showed a Ghurab 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 was Riva Riva Raven uh, is uh, burying another one, dead one. Why burying? Dog is dog. Saliva is impure. So if you touch that, what you do according to sh Sharia? Wash it seven times, and the last time with soil. Huh? With Arab. I know the Arab in Arabic. We want in English. Uh, with soil. Means soil cleans every dirtiness. Every dirtiness, Allah cleans it with dirt, with soil. Today, there is the most dirty thing on earth is what? Huh? That cannot be cleaned even by, by uh, so soil, cannot be cleaned. But they bury it there. What is that? Nuclear. Nuclear waste. They cannot clean it. Also, backbiting is like a nuclear waste. Even Earth cannot clean it. Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, said. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take the cover, take means unveil the dirtiness of backbite from people who are buried, from one person is enough to make all human beings fainting from this dirty smell. Earth cannot clean that. Earth can clean normal sins. You look here, you look there, you hear, you uh, did this thing, you did, you, you, did, you steal, you rub, you uh, uh, lie, you, but backbite, Allah doesn't like. He, Grand Sheikh said, if Allah open the grave of the one who backbites, the smell of his backbiting covers the whole world from the immediately, in one second it covers. There is a, a cemetery in Lebanon, Babur Ramel, in Tripoli, Lebanon. This cemetery is cemetery of Aulia. They don't bury now in it. But and on the other side, they still bury, bury people. One time we were with Maulana Sheikh Nazim, and the one who dig the graves, 
was telling him, Ya Sayyidi, I am, I don't know how to begin, but I am frightened. Sometime I, when I dig, I see snakes in the grave of that person and I see uh, bites on his body, bites by snakes. Sometimes I see people who are burned, black completely, they come black from burning. What is that? That's punishment. They are being punished in the grave. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish the one who backbite in a similar way. Send all kind of wild animals to reach that grave, even it's closed. Allah for him there is nothing closed. Prophet for him nothing closed. Al Fatih Lima Orlik. He opened what is closed. So that waste that comes from backbiting and from coming from oppressors spreading false rumors might be people ask why we are giving this suhbah today like that we have to continue about zikrullah and fada'il bismillah ar-rahman rahim and fatiha but Maulana said insert this there it's a reminder for us because we are not only us but in many different centers around the world I'm not speaking about other people we are speaking about murids of Maulana Sheikh Nazim in particular and in general who likes to accept accept what we say or not it's up to them Allah doesn't like those who spread rumors false rumors and it become after a while reality Grand Sheikh may Allah bless his soul said Allah doesn't like any way anyone to break the heart of the other one it is the worst character and sin that someone break your heart he said example he's giving an example it's not a fact but he is showing how much it is hard on awliya Allah's heart the one who spread false rumors and backbite he said if you go to Mecca and sit in Kaaba and do where sin is not allowed completely it's not Subhanallah, asra bi abdihi laylam min al masjid al haram. Masjid al haram means in the masjid in the area that haram cannot be done. It's clean. If someone go there and make haram in any way, it's a big sin, is not? Doing it in Mecca. He said, if someone break the heart of the other one, is the sin bigger than that? Because Allah doesn't like anyone to break the heart of a mu'min or a Muslim. Leave people alone. Leave people alone. People like you like to be, like you like to live in happiness. They like to live in happiness for what? Throwing uh, random, random, random ac accusations that are not correct for different people in order to show yourself that you are above everyone that's not accepted this is a character that in general we are speaking in general this is a character that 
Allah doesn't like and his Prophet وسلم, doesn't like so try to avoid that and try not to backbite and the only the only way to get rid of that is Zikrullah Zikrullah matradatun lil shaytan Zikrullah is punish, punishment chasing away shaytan when you salam Zikrullah is when it will chase shaytan away so as much as you do Zikrullah as much as you chase shaytan away if you still falling into backbiting and false rumors doing and conspiracy and all this means your zikr is not yet up to the level means is blended with dunya and shaitanic uh, blend color means it is not good go and try to repeat and ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you when you are not connecting your heart with Prophet sallallahu and in his presence when you close your eyes look at your heart connect your heart with Prophet sallallahu and say Allah 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 if that how you have to do your zikr or la ilaha illallah and you feel that connection with Prophet this is how you have to do in order that it eliminate and polish your heart and eliminate badness from your heart in order to cure your heart or else your zikr that you are doing day and night is worthless when you are accusing and you are false rumors and false accusation al-zikr sabab al-sa'ada fi dunya wa fi al-akhira zikr is the cause of happiness in dunya and akhira everyone wants to be happy and what is the happiness the, the biggest happiness huh? to be with prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so since it, it they say zikrullah is the happiness in dunya and akhira means zikr zikrullah equal equal presence of prophet sallallahu wasallam means zikrullah takes you to be in the presence of prophet which he takes you to presence of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to achieve happiness in dunya and happiness in akhir look this is what huh? the uh, the sandal of the shape of the sandal is a symbol of Prophet this we we are putting here but that's here is only a symbol of that you are under the Nile of Prophet but in reality you have to make your heart under the sandal of Prophet in order that you will attain dunya and the akhira happiness to make that means to make to obey Prophet and Prophet said al fitna tu naimatun la'an Allahu man aykadha fitna is dormant Allah will curse who will open it up so why you are the people opens up fitna which has a false fitna not a right fitna a false fitna that is means you are what you are putting of a symbol is not uh, the, it is not your re personal is not your reality you are it's a showing off and you must be the first one to carry the sandals of Prophet in your heart in order that you will be approaching 
forget about other people. Everyone is responsible for himself. يَوْمَ يَفُرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ لِكُلِّ امْرِئٍ مِّنْهُمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ شَأْنٌ يُغْنِيهِ Because they're coming a day everyone is running from his brother, his father, his mother, his wife, his children. Ya Rabbi Nafsi. So why you don't begin try to fix yourself? Sayyidina Abu Yazid al-Bastami was always say I respect the young one because he is less sinned than me he. And I respect the old elder than me because he has more worshipness from me. So look in this way. Don't look at the badness of people. Allah Jamil wa yuhibbul Jamal. Allah is beauty and he loves beauty. Beauty is to show the beauty of the of that person, not to show the badness of that person. You don't need that. Don't make shaitan happy. What is the benefit of mentioning someone in his absence and cursing him falsely? Is good or bad? Yeah? He is going to ask his right in day of judgment. And he might take all your amal. He might not leave anything for you. Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul, we learn from him adab. He said, don't repeat a story that passed one hour ago. Because Allah cursed the one that repeat that story that passed one hour ago. What you think about a story five years ago? Or ten years ago? He said, if a human being, they can go up to Adam, السلام, they complain and backbite Adam even. They go there. They say, why you ate from the tree? <laughs> uh, what is your business? He ate from the tree, he gave you uh, the dunya. If he didn't eat from the tree, how you come to dunya? Allah wants... Allah wants himself, by himself, to be known. He created creation. He wanted them to know with his wisdom on earth. That's why he ate from the tree, to bring you to earth. That planet, you are enjoying the feet of Adam on that planet. That planet was like Mars and... Uh, Venus, there is no life on it. There are many other planets. As soon as he stepped from Jannah, his feet still has the uh, heavenly power, heavenly steps. So as soon as he put his feet on earth, earth turned green. And under his feet, where he stepped down in Sri Lanka, in Ceylon, there is the Adam peak. All that mountain is jewels. You cannot dig there. Because it's on the ground you can find them. The stones. The government is uh, blocking everyone from coming. Except some big companies. So if people have advantage, they go and complain against Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam. So keep your zikr. You, a zikr yur is muhabbat Allah ta'ala. Zikr will, you worries, you will inherit love of Allah. So if you have zikrullah, you do zikrullah, and with, with people you will be inheriting them, giving them on your life, to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So someone who is rich and generous, he inherits, he gives not only his children, inherit other people with his money, his wealth. So when you are showing mahabba to Allah, Allah will dress you with his generosity of mahabba, fill you with it, and then 
you can pass it to other people through zikrullah. Mahabba, if someone has an atom of mahabba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will faint. We say mahabba, but Allah give it bil attara. With a dropper, huh? dropper, drop. One, one of the believer of Sayyidina Musa asks, Musa, when you go to store Sayyidina, ask for me, mahabba, faith. He went, he said, you believe in me, that's why. He said, no, ask Allah for me, I am asking. Send me his love and his iman, in, iman in, in him and to love him. He went, at the end, he was asking, as Allah said, I sent to him, go to him. He went, knock at the door, no answer. Pushed the door, entered, he saw him uh, sitting still, his eyes going up, and no movement finish he moved him Allah revealed to him Ya Musa leave him that what I sent to him an atom of my ocean that that made him to be drunk of my love that's why Allah said for Allah said they have nothing to fear or to be sad because he's dressing them with his love with his mahabba so zikrullah yuwarrisu mahabbatullah wal qurbu min Allah and bring you near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't run away Fafirru ilallah. Allah said, run to him. Don't run to shaitan. He didn't say, fafirru ila shaitan. He said, fafirru ilallah. Run to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are we running to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Here and there, on the internet, everywhere, in general, we have to run to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And وَيُوَرِّسُ الْعَبْدَ إِجْلَالًا And inherit the servant majestic power. Dress him with صِفَةُ الْجَلَالِ That majestic power. That anyone looks at him, he's like a spotlight, they be attracted. وَيُوَرِّسُ ذِكْرُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَ لِلْعَبْدِ if the abd is making zikr, Allah will give him back to inherit other people with zikr. And if he is sitting among them, his reflection will be spread to all of them. So whatever he has, it passed to them without them feeling. That's why it is said that you, if you go and sit in presence of a wali, he will raise you to his level, even for five minutes. Grand Sheikh, when he was being given wilaya to be Sultan, he refused. Now everyone calling himself Sultan from Tariqa, they are calling, we are Sultan. Sultan what? Sult yeah, Sultan and Nafis, it's okay. And their name at the end now Sultan. This one's Ali Sultan, Mahmoud Sultan. Becoming Sultan and Nafs is Sultan of Ego. It's okay. So Grand Sheikh may Allah bless his soul what we were going to say. When he was when he received the wilaya from Sheikh Sharafuddin, 
to be dressed with the uh, uh, secret of the golden chain he said I don't want it people today young ones running to Maulana to give them wilaya and Maulana distribute one time he said to me something he said oh you 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 are going to be sitting on this chair yani a position I said to him, Maulana, what? Uh, but I never heard it from Grand Sheikh. He said, you go at that time. If you see someone sitting before you, what you can do? <laughs> Leave it and go another chair. Means don't glue yourself to a title. Even I have said a saying. I'm saying to please your ego. But awliyaullah, they don't like titles because titles is f from Allah comes, not from Abd. You call yourself Sultan, who cares? Who are you to call yourself Sultan? No one cares for you. Hundred times you call yourself, you, it's a shaitan calling you that. Awliyaullah, they hide themselves. They don't want to be mentioned. Grand Sheikh never wanted to be mentioned. So he said, I don't want it. And Sheikh Sharaf al-Din is an order coming from Prophet And that night he informed in the, in, the, in the spiritual realm, in the heavenly life, he brought it to Prophet and Prophet told him, ask him why. He want to tell Sheikh Sharaf al-Din, tell everyone what is the hikmah. Came to him and he said, Prophet is asking why. Now he has to answer. He said, yes, Ayyidi, don't be upset with me. You are wali all your life. And before you, Abu Muhammad al-Madani was wali all his life. Before him, Abu Ahmad al suguri What was the benefit? They are awliya. The, the followers who are sitting with them they didn't get wilaya. So what is then the benefit of my wilaya to myself? I don't need it. Where Allah puts me, puts me. I'm accepting. Put me in, in a high level of paradise or he put me in lower level of hellfire. I am surrendering. But I want the Why well, refuse? Because what will happen to all these murids? If I... If Prophet Sallallahu wants to give me wilaya, I need a promise that anyone sit with me in my association will be raised to my level. At any time. If not, now there is no benefit of be, me being wali. Took that, happy with that answer, to Prophet Sallallahu Prophet said, I'm accepting. So he said, anyone sits with me in my association, he will be raised to where I am. And Sheikh Sharaf al-Din was saying to scholars one time, to scholars, like 100, 150 scholars are coming to his session. He said, do you want me to tell you about Abdullah Afendi? He calls him like that. His position? He was young at that time. He said, now, now, in he's young, in his, as a teenager, he is, where he is putting his feet, in that time, no one has put his feet. That's why I give him a special inaya, special support attention. We will continue to tomorrow inshallah may Allah forgive us and keep us under under uh, the arms of our shiuch and to be with them we are helpless and we cannot do we are we make sins we are do all kind of bad things may Allah forgive us and forgive everyone and forgive those who are backbiting Alhamdulillah, not me, 
but they backbite each other. We are speaking in general. Run away from backbiting. Run away from false rumors. Might be those people whom you are accusing, in general, are better than you. Who knows? It's not who has bigger turban, uh, who is under the turban. When you take shower, how you take shower? With turban or no turban? Why you take it out? So the importance of the, of the shower to take the sin away, that's why you are ordered to take shower and make wudu, is to take the sin away. And so you keep your turban and you go. There has no s Turban only significance is following the sunnah of Prophet ﷺ to show that you are Muslim. Al-Ama Imtijan al-Arab. It's the crowns of Muslims. Turbans. So you don't take shower with turban. When you be able to take shower with turban, at that time we accept your backbiting. You cannot. You have to have water to come on your head in order, and it has to be on the head first. Because all the sins goes down. When you w clean something, you clean it from the beginning. You don't clean it from the foot. So you clean from the beginning. So all this dirtiness will disappear. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take our dirtiness away. Amen. And keep us under the protection of Mawlana Sheikh Nazim. May Allah give him long life. And Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul. Bi hurmat al Habib, bi hurmat al Fatih. Takabban Allah.